So we're camping here at Pine Mountain Observatory, just outside of Bend, Oregon, and the weather has been awesome. Oh my God, you're you're Vega venturing, right? I've seen yeah. some of your stuff, right? Like you're on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's nice to meet wow. you. So I take it you're a subscriber. No, no, your videos. I mean, they're okay, but they're they're nothing special. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Well, still, it was great meeting you. Um, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna have some food. Okay. I'll catch you later. Alright, thanks. So we're camping at Pine Mountain Observatory, just outside of Bend, Oregon, and it's been a fantastic little campsite up in the high desert. Uh, the observatory is really cool. It's run by the University of Oregon and it's closed right now due to COVID reasons so that it's not open to the public but it's still neat to kind of take a walk around and see the observatory domes and then hike up to the hillside and get the view from up top. views from the hillside are very hit and miss. Uh, we're getting a ton of smoke uh, coming in from the bootleg fire um, in southern Oregon. It's uh, now the largest uh, forest fire in the United States and it's just it's growing at an absurd rate and it's just casting smoke all over the state and the western continental U.S. It's getting so big that it's actually creating its own weather patterns and the other day it even started its own tornado within the region of the fire. So it's it's a massive fire and, you know, the only upside to it really is that it creates these amazing uh, sunsets um, with the smoke filtering through the light, but otherwise it's just terrible. And this has been a fun trip, uh, even though we don't normally camp in campgrounds, this is a dispersed uh, primitive campground. So we did pack everything in, pack everything out, um, but it's been super quiet. And we rolled in super late on Friday night, um, got into the campsite at 10.30 at night, which is, it was pitch black, it was dark. The, the only light we had was from the full moon. And we made a major mistake coming up here to the campsite. We, we took the wrong road. We didn't know there was two ways into the campsite. And so we took the first available option, which was the incorrect way. Uh, it basically leads you up an unmaintained very narrow road um, that's just full of boulders and rocks, sharp, sharp pyramid looking dagger rocks, um, very slow going. I mean, we were going one to two miles an hour up. A, it took us an hour just to get through that portion of the road to get to the campsite. And we didn't realize that there was another way up to Pine Mountain Observatory until the next day when we saw, saw cars coming in from the other direction and realized, hey, that's not the road we took in. What the heck? So learn from our mistake. Don't take the hard way. Take the easy way. It's, it's a much less treacherous road to get up here.
and I'll be a little bit left in the frame, so you'll just be right here. <laughs> so we're camping here at Pine Mountain Observatory, just outside of Bend, Oregon. And oh this camp's... Oh my God, you're Vega Venturing. Holy crap, I've seen some of your oh. videos. That's awesome. Hey. Wow, so, I never thought I'd see you out here. So then I take it you're a subscriber. No, no, your videos are just kind of okay. I mean, they're nothing fancy, okay. but they're worth a watch every once in a while. I mean, oh, right. you know what though, for the rest of you, just make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get updates on the latest videos. <laughs> more take. I mean, plus, you never even suggest that people should like, comment, and subscribe. You should do that. Right, that'd, well. that'd probably help. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>